Alrighty, I have a very weird construction update for you guys today on Uganda Striker. This is truly weird, um, but I want to start off with a huge disclaimer alert. So Amusement Insiders and myself, we do not know what's going on with this project, nor would we share any information which is going on. So this is totally up to you guys to figure out what's going on with Yukon Striker and the track pieces. Um, now this comes down to the question that we keep getting from our videos and what we're seeing is Yukon Striker's vertical loop being canceled. Is it being uh, changed into a different element? And the answer is no. Yes, this is truly weird with what's going on. We've never seen this before, I don't think. Um, with track pieces being sent back to BM, track pieces being removed from a coaster and then being sent back, and then there being almost like a month delay. Um, but that being said, I want to say the answer from me uh, is it's definitely not being canceled, it's definitely not uh, being changed into another element. In fact, the other support column went up just yesterday for the vertical loop. These track pieces look like they're actually on their way back, they look like they're being ready to be shipped back to Canada's Wonderland. Um, I have no idea what's going on with them. That's totally up to you guys to speculate beyond belief in the comment section below. Uh, but it's definitely, uh, I'm going to give you good news. The vertical loop is staying. Don't worry. There's nothing wrong. It's B&M. They don't make mistakes. Um, and I have a feeling that it's something very minor uh, that had needed to be fixed on the track pieces. Probably like paint. Could have been anything. Um, begin speculating down below. Insert comment here. But uh, the vertical loop is not cancelled. The vertical loop will be there on opening day. The coaster will open on time. Don't worry. Delays like this are accounted for in construction pro uh, projects. So don't panic. Don't fret. Everything is great. Um, that being said, huge thank you to uh, the person for sending us these pictures on Instagram. I'm going to link their profile down below. Um, so definitely go follow them on Instagram. We wouldn't uh, have these pictures without you. Um, and uh, I also just wanted to add that these are not new track pieces that are being sent to Canada's Wonderland. These were on site. So the bottom piece was the one piece that I saw removed. Um, and I uh, was reporting on that in one of my videos. And the other piece was also removed from the site um, and sent here. So these are pieces that were removed from Canada's Wonderland's property and are now being sent back. That I can confirm from drone footage. And again, if you saw my recent updates... I was struggling to find pieces that I had accounted for um, and was tracking and could no longer see on a property. So this answers that question for everyone. We know where the track pieces are finally. Um, and uh, yeah, it's truly awesome. Um, the vertical loop will probably, if I had to take a wild guess, if these pieces are back, heading back today um, or this weekend or Monday, then the vertical loop might be able to be done by the end of next week, maybe early next next week. Um, and I still think that testing will take place end of February, um, mid February, end of February, early March, something along those lines, same, same time frame. It's not like they could be testing the coaster right now with this extreme cold anyways. So that regardless of there being a delay of track completion, they're still not delayed because it's not holding them back that much. The construction company is probably just having to stay there longer than anticipated, but it's not delaying the project from an opening date. There's not much they, else they could be doing. They're working hard on the theming now um, with a different company because uh, the iron workers aren't obviously going to do the theming. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, the trains are on site, all three of them. And that's about it. The coaster is not going to be delayed. The vertical loop is still going to be installed. Don't worry. Um, and Yukon Striker will still be open late April and for Season Pass Holders Day and opening day. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this quick update on Yukon Striker. I had to update you guys right away on these, the weird happenings of these track pieces and the vertical loop. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, all I would ask is please share this video for others to enjoy. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.